says, Michael Popak, Legal AF, when lawyers quit Donald Trump, they don't do it quietly. They do it noisily and they give new evidence to the prosecutor to use. Latest example, Tim Parlatore. He had been the lead lawyer for Donald Trump on all things defending him related to Mar-a-Lago. That's until the CNN town hall where Trump blew up his own world on network television related to any possible defense that he might have had. He completely screwed it. And then within a week later, Tim Parlatore said, so long. Now, when Tim Parlatore left originally, just a couple of days ago, and we reported it on Legal AF, the podcast only on the Midas Touch Network that I co-anchor, we didn't really know why. We, we, we had some sneaking suspicions. Maybe it was because he had, he had made himself the records custodian and he'd sign on a dotted line under oath in front of a federal judge, Tim Parlatore did, about what he searched or didn't search for Donald Trump. Maybe he had problems related to that and was soon to be a witness for the prosecution. Maybe it was that. But now it turns out, as we had sort of suspected, Tim Parlatore doesn't get along with the other lawyers representing Donald Trump. He's, he, I know he's attacked Joe Tacopina. Listen, we've all attacked Joe Tacopina for the poor work he's done for the president, a former president, including at the arraignment of the 34 count indictment against Donald Trump for business record fraud in New York, in the E. Jean Carroll case, and everywhere else. So, yes, Tim Parlatore, among every other thinking human being, thinks that Joe Tacopina should remove himself from representing Donald Trump. But that isn't even the lawyer that Tim Parlatore has been fighting with, nor the one he threw under the bus. He threw Boris Epstein under the bus. Who's Boris Epstein? He is this year's flavor. He's this year's Michael Cohen inside fixer consigliere for Donald Trump. You've seen him. You just didn't know who he was. He's the bald guy sitting at the end of the table at the arraignment wearing the three-piece suit and sweating. Um, he, he's given press conferences. He got picked up his own a personal uh, devices like phones were picked up by the FBI in this current investigation because of his role. And Parlatori on network television, on CNN, has said that Boris Epstein has blocked the ability of the lawyers to search properly for documents at places like Bedminster. Attention, Jack Smith. Boris Epstein is obstructing on behalf of Donald Trump. And he said it out loud. He also said that Boris Epstein um, was lying up to the lawyers and to his own client, Donald Trump, on numerous occasions. We have the clip. Let's roll the clip on CNN of Tim Parlatori being interviewed just a day or so ago about him leaving. Doesn't do it quietly. And he kills Boris Epstein in the criminal investigation. Let's play it. He served as kind of a, um, a filter to prevent us from getting information to the client and getting information from the client. Uh, in my opinion, he was not very honest with us or with the client on certain things. Uh, there were certain things like the searches that he had attempted to interfere with. And then more recently, as we're coming down to the end of this investigation where Jack Smith and ultimately Merrick Garland is going to make a decision as to what to do, as we put together our defense strategy uh, to help educate Merrick Garland as to how best uh, to handle this matter, he was preventing us from engaging in that strategy. Uh, you said that Boris tried to prevent you from conducting searches. What searches are those? Th this is the searches that, at uh, Bedminster um, initially. Okay. So let me just clear this up as a practicing lawyer for more than 30 years. You withdraw from cases. It happens. Okay, it doesn't mean you you go in front of a bank of uh, of microphones or on CNN and broadcast to the world what was inside the tent on the inner workings that you were only exposed to because you were an attorney. Generally, there's an attorney-client privilege that covers all of your feelings, all of the information that you obtain. You may not like your client. You may not like your client's lawyer or other advisors, but you don't generally, under the ethics rules, then attack the client and attack the other colleagues that you were working with on CNN. But Parlatori feels he has to do that. Now, either he feels he has to have some separation now in his departure because he doesn't want Jack Smith coming over to him because he just blew kisses and a love note to Jack Smith on the way out of the case. He basically served Boris Epstein, Donald Trump's right-hand consigliere, up on a silver platter to give to Jack Smith. If Jack Smith didn't already feel that Boris Epstein was a bad dude and had done bad things, having already grabbed his phone in a subpoena, 
than he does now because Tim Parlatori just blew, blew the dog whistle, blew the siren and said, hey, Jack Smith, take a look at Boris Epstein. I was trying to do my job and turn over documents that were top secret and were still sitting in, in Bedminster. Boris Epstein got in my way. And I want you to know that now. Now, if you don't think Tim Parlatori is going to be brought back in front of the grand jury, I got a bridge in Brooklyn to sell you. Tim Parlatori already testified once in front of one of Jack Smith's grand juries about the search for documents at Mar-a-Lago. Now, at that moment, he retained his attorney-client privilege because Jack Smith's team at that moment didn't move to strip away the privilege in front of the federal judge that's responsible for all things grand jury and all things Jack Smith. Today, that judge is Judge Jeb Boesberg. But now, based on this CNN report and this interview that he just gave, Parlatore, Jack Smith, I am sure, very quickly, if not next week, is going to go in front of uh, Judge Jeb Boesberg and argue that Parlatore has either waived his privilege or, or um, uh, waived the confidential communications he had <clears throat> with his own client and with Boris Epstein and should not have attorney-client privilege on this area and should go back into the grand jury to testify about how Boris Epstein, probably on behalf of Donald Trump, interfered with the um, d discovery and um, uh, return of documents located at Bedminster, at Mar-a-Lago, as required by the federal search warrant, as required by the federal judge. This is a new crime. He just announced a new crime on CNN. We follow it on hot takes just like this one. I do these about every day, only on the Midas Touch Network. When I'm not doing these and practicing law as a trial lawyer, I also co-anchor a show on the Midas Touch Network on Wednesdays and Saturdays called Legal AF. You can only get it there. If you like what I'm doing on updates on Tim Parlatori, creating new criminal problems for Donald Trump and Boris Epstein. Give me a thumbs up on this particular video. Leave a comment. I do go through them to read them. I might even respond back to you. And you can follow me on all things social media at MS Popak. This is Michael Popak, Legal AF. Hey, Midas Mighty, love this report? Continue the conversation by following us on Instagram, at Midas Touch, to keep up with the most important news of the day. What are you waiting for? Follow us now.